and welcome back. I am joined by the former Collegiate Sports Editor, Justin Michael, with some pretty interesting news coming out of Fort Collins. Last week, Justin, you broke the story that CSU was going to be putting head coach of men's basketball, Larry Eustacey, under a formal investigation for something that was going on within the organization. Not only were you right about that, but since that has, ha has happened, uh, Larry Eustacey has now been put on administrative leave and is currently not coaching the team. Can you tell us a little bit about this situation and why the investigation uh, was brought on upon Larry Eustacey? Yeah, the investigation began when a parent of a player complained to athletic director Joe Parker over the way that their son was being treated by Larry Eustacey. That resulted in Eustacey to conduct private interviews into the, you know, culture of the team and how everybody's being treated, uh, which ultimately resulted in him being placed on leave. Now, can you tell us, in this process, is this something that our athletic director, Joe Parker, is also involved with the players as well as Larry Eustacey? Yeah, Joe, uh, during this interview process, or during the investigation process, Joe has been privately conducting interviews individually with each player, giving them a chance, you know, to speak their mind, tell him what they think about Larry, how he's treated them. Uh, according to my initial reporting, only two players came to Eustacey's defense in the initial investigation. That took place last Tuesday. Now, from uh, obviously, you, you're not in the locker room, so it's hard for you to get a complete gauge on the morale of the team. But based on the guys that you've talked to um, and what you know, how is the team handling this, uh, this tough situation that they're being dealt with right now? You know, this is a situation where you can see that it's obviously affecting them. You can see it on their face. It's wearing on them. More than anything, uh, I think the six-game losing streak is wearing on them in this situation. But if there is anything that this team has going for them, it's that they're used to chaos. Uh, this is a program that has not exactly been the most functional over the last, well, really two to four years now. Uh, so no, this is nothing new. Yeah, speaking of uh, you know the last two to four years, um, earlier in Larry Eustacey's tenure with uh, the Colorado State Rams, um, he was investigated before. Um, is that investigation, uh, if that investigation hadn't happened, would we even be looking at a formal investigation right now, do you think? You know, it's one of those situations where you can't say for sure uh, because these are technically two separate investigations sparked by two separate incidents, two separate players, you know, over... Uh, three-year time span. But based on Larry Eustacey's previous behavior and you know what his record is according to the public and what we've seen the administration has found in the old investigation, based on what I found, I don't think there would be any issues or as much of an issue mm -hmm. if this was you know his first strike. Now, with this investigation ongoing, Larry Eustacey not coaching the team right now, um, what can you tell us about how Larry Eustacey's absence changes the, fun the way this team functions? It's kind of a unique s situation with Steve Barnes being named the interim head coach. Uh, he's a guy who has, you know, I'd say more than a friendship with Larry Eustacey. They're, they're two guys that have known each other since the 70s. They played basketball together in high school and college. They've coached together at every single one of Larry Eustacey's head coaching positions. Their mothers even worked together at the same elementary school when they were kids. So, I mean, these are two guys who, they're like this, and they've been around each other, and they've worked together. Um, so while they do have some differences, I don't think a whole lot changes with Barnes in charge now. If you Stacy's out, Barnes is the next best thing. Yeah, he's, he's Larry's right-hand man. They've been together for 30-plus years, and... That's, that's, that's really what makes this whole situation so interesting with remo removing you, Stacy, is you put in a guy in Steve Barnes who's worked with him every step of the way. Now, as this story develops, uh, I'm sure you're going to be breaking more news. For the viewers who want to continue to follow along, um, where should they check out any news you may publish? Yeah, uh, viewers can find me at Twitter, at Justin T. Michael. That's where I break the majority of my news. Um, they can find previous articles through the Rocky Mountain Collegian and the Denver Post. Um, so yeah, I'm all over the place. All right, and I'm sure we'll have you back on again at some point to talk about this Absolutely. in the future. So thank you for joining us tonight and providing that insight to Larry Eustacey. That's all we have for the moment, but when we come back, I will have an interview with some members of the Colorado State Club Lacrosse team.